Welcome to the Guitar Channel. I am super happy to welcome you a new uh, interview. I am with the one and only Peter Armstrong from the Dundee Worlds in Paris. Peter, how are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Just wrapping up a long tour, yeah. so feels great. Are you enjoying the nicer winter we have in Paris? Oh yeah, it's yeah. just like home. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of rain. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me, Peter, what was uh, your first guitar? Please don't tell me it was that uh, gorgeous uh, Tao guitar. No, it's not my first. Uh, my first electric guitar? First guitar ever. First guitar ever yeah. was, um, well, it's kind of my dad's guitar. Um, he, when we were living outside of San Francisco, um, there was a guitar builder uh, named John Gilbert, who, he was a classical guitar maker who lived next door. Um, and my dad, just on a whim, asked, my, asked John to go buy a guitar for him, to pick out a, a classical guitar for him. Mm -hmm. said, here's $100, pick out the, be the best one you can, you can find. And so it, um, the guitar was a Japanese-made um, classical guitar. Uh, it's got a label called Crown no idea can't find any info about it okay. but i still have it ah nice nice yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and can you give us uh, the main uh, turning points uh, in your career between that very first guitar and tonight your concert in paris <clears throat> um it's pretty much the day that um courtney had gotten kicked out of a band okay um as a drummer and i convinced him to teach me how to play some of the songs that he was writing That was definitely the turning point. I mean, I'd played a little bit of guitar here and there, but it was not my main thing at all. Mm -hmm. um, and as soon as we started this band, it became everything. Mm -hmm. And what would you say are uh, your main uh, influences? <clears throat> um, it, you know, it's so all over the place, but kind of main musical influence would be Dark Side of the Moon. Okay. My dad bought that record when it first came out and played it a lot. You know, I was young enough that it was that it was just sounds, you know, and that record is just full of sounds. Mm -hmm. And so I I I kind of credit that to you know, my a lot of my musical tastes which are more atmospheric, less bluesy guitar leads, you mm -hmm. know, um no shredding. It's not my thing. Okay. Um to just love like sound mm -hmm. and you can use guitar and pedals and amps to create all sorts of stuff mm -hmm. so and was there a, a, a song uh, which really got you inspired to play your guitar as i usually say what was your smoke on the water uh, thing right <laughs> you know what what really inspired me to get kind of back into playing um would probably be You enjoyed this extract? Get your backstage pass on the Guitar Channel to watch the full video. This is only a small fraction of the content available. The second component of the pass is the access to lessons and masterclasses. The third component is access to deals with partners. And the last component is the access to the private community to get high quality discussions with guitar aficionados like you. The Backstage Pass is only $8 US dollar per month or $43 for six months or $76 for a year.